Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, I'm going to do something I've never done before, and that is I'm going to cook something out of the store. Now, the part of this is not out of the store. I was so fortunate to go in my greenhouse, my daughter's greenhouse, and lo and behold, there growing out of the rocks was oyster mushrooms right here in the middle of the winter. Usually, oyster mushrooms don't grow in rocks. Just so happens that when we cleared for this greenhouse, we had to cut a lot of trees. And so there's no doubt in my mind, this is growing out of a stump. So what we're gonna do, when I saw those mushrooms, I just had a brainstorm. What we're gonna do is show you something that anybody can make. A lot of this came from the store, the bacon, the cheese, the jalapenos even came in the store. This is the middle of the winter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make jalapeno popper grilled cheese sandwiches, Swiss mushroom extraordinaire. It's too big of a name to even put all in one name, but we're fixing to make it, we're fixing to make it delicious. Let's get with it. First thing I'm gonna do is take that bacon and get it frying on a skillet. Now, part of that bacon is gonna be saved for whole slices on the sandwiches. Part of that bacon is gonna be crumbled up and put into the mixture that we're gonna stuff these jalapeno poppers with. Now, we're gonna take some of that bacon grease and we're gonna fry our onions. These onions need to be fried really good. And on top of that, we're going to take cream cheese and we're gonna mix it with the, the chopped up onions with the bacon crumbles bacon grease. Whoo doggies, this is gonna be some kind of good. Now we're gonna take our mushrooms. We're gonna cut our mushrooms up pretty small. We don't want any big mushrooms in these sandwiches. We're gonna cut them up and we are going to fry them in bacon grease. Yes, if you haven't caught on yet, bacon grease is the center of this beauty. All right, folks, we're gonna make the mixture that goes in the peppers. I've got all of the peppers halved, took the seeds out, I tested, they are a little warm. If you don't like your jalapenos to be very hot, you can take them and slice them in half, de-seed them, and soak them in water. That'll pull that heat right out. We like spicy, so we're gonna go with it. The cream cheese and the cheese and the baking grease and all that is really good about helping tone down that extra hot heat. So remember that, if you like a little spicy, Go ahead and leave it, leave it uh, hot. And if you like real hot, leave some seeds in it. So I'm going to take my cilantro. I diced this up as small as I could. This comes straight out of our herb garden. And I mean, it's basically January already. And here we are harvesting herbs out of the herb garden. Now on that, I'm going to put some of my mushrooms I'm gonna save some to put in the actual cheese. I'm gonna take all of this particular amount of bacon. It's got a lot of bacon grease in it. This particular bacon didn't make a lot of grease, so I don't have like two or three teaspoons extra to put in here, but if you count what's in the onions and what's in the bacon, there's a little bit of grease. I didn't try to strain any grease out at all. So now we're gonna throw onion in there. I'm not gonna put it all. I'm gonna put about half. And this was two pretty good sized yellow onions. I'm gonna throw some Mexican style cheese. This is the finely shredded yellow and white. And then we're gonna start mixing. Now you don't have to add salt at this point if you salted your onions and mushrooms enough. I definitely did. I, I like my onions especially to be salty because I like that caramelization. I'm pretty crazy about caramelized onions. So we're just gonna mix this up real good and stuff it in these peppers. All right, you don't want to get it spilt all over your pan because it will burn. So be kind of careful. You might wanna take a little bit small and just daub it in there just like that. And as this cooks, it's gonna start getting a little bit juicy, and so you don't wanna pile them up overly full, but you don't want them empty either. And for this exact recipe where we're putting them in to sandwiches, it's not gonna matter if they're not exactly crammed full, but buddy, I like jalapeno poppers. Oh my goodness. All right, that's the last of the poppers, and I still have over half of this left. 
This is unbelievable flavor right here. So we will not be throwing that out. After we cook these and we make our sandwiches, instead of using sour cream intertwined in these, we're gonna use this. All right, you wanna throw this in the oven. You want it 350, 375, I don't care. Just whatever you like. <laughs> That hurts. Okay, ha. we have got ourselves some toast with the amazing cheese on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead, let's see, how am I gonna do this? I wanna take, that's hot. I wanna take these and lay them across here like this. Woo, that's hot on my old fingers. And I'm gonna take this cheese, sprinkle it over that hot stuff. If I do it on a big board like this, it ain't gonna make a too big a mess, even if stuff falls off. And if you know anything, you know that a messy food is the best tasting food on earth. Mmm. What I wanna do now, lay me some bacon on here like this, sprinkle a little more cheese on there, like that. I'm gonna take this right here and just lop that right over there like that. And that, my friend, is what I'm looking for. All right, I wanna melt this new cheese down, so I'm gonna stick this in the, well, it's not an oven, it's a warming rack on the stove. If you don't have a wood stove, you don't have one of these, but you have a toaster oven probably. All right, boys, it's time to try this baby out. I think, personally, this is going to be so flavorful that it's going to be hard to make them happy with possum again. But I may be wrong. They may love possum so much that they don't care. I don't know. I know they love trapping, so that'll help. All right. Matt, reach over here and get you one, buddy boy. David? Caleb? Mmm, now eat it over the table because I have a feeling this is going to be sloppy good. Mm. Keep your sandwich together in one nice little thing here, David. Hey, you're in the good way. Mm. They're eating without me, folks. It must be good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 It's messy. All right, let's go for that jalapeno, see if there's any spice to it. Man, I'm telling you, that is some kind of good. Has anybody had a spicy pe pepper yet? It wasn't spicy. It wasn't real spicy? Mine left just a little spicy taste on one side of my tongue. Mmm. Mmm. Them mushrooms, them onions, that cheese, that bacon. Oh my goodness. Folks, you gotta try this. Please, for the sake of your own sanity, try this recipe. You probably think I'm a geek. It ain't that good. You've just been eating squirrels and possums all your life. I'm telling you, it is that good. Squirrels and possums are pretty good. <laughs> mm. Caleb, what do you think about it, fella? It is good. Matt? It's good. Clean up your little dri drippings. That's the best taste. Mmm. Well, folks, we knocked that sandwich out lickety-split, and there is a bunch more needing to be made. 
and the whole family's gonna gather around this table just like we do every breakfast, noon and night. We eat three meals a day right here as a family. That is what we love to do. So, we're gonna get on out of here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll try this sandwich. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.